The following special presentation is from Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And unintentionally, but always a polite way to say, presented by Sports Simulations and Replays on Face, the best Facebook group around to post your project. Whether it's on the PC, tabletop, or on the console, Sports Simulations and Replays is where you should go to post your project today. <laughs> All right, gang, we're almost a week late with this, but it's time. It came out about 6.25. I've downloaded it, and you're going to watch me uninstall it, and we're going to go through it. I got the basic version of the game this year. We'll get the season at some point. Uh, and so it's 2019 hockey. We're ready for it. It was so brand new that Windows put up the smart run thing saying, are you sure you want to run this? Yes. Yes, I'm highly sure I want to run this. So I've been itching to play some hockey to start a new replay project for myself for a while. So let's do this, shall we? And so there you see the screen. And everything that's up on my computer says I am live. Unzip. And we're unzipping it. Six files unzipped successfully. I didn't realize I was on here. Yes, that's the whole point. Okay. Same thing as last year. We click the bouton, Hockey 19. Now, you always want to keep these files. This happens every year and every game. Do you want to keep these files? Yes. You always want to make sure that um, you just do what it tells you to do. Three of them this year. Four? There's a lot of them this year. Okay, setup is up. Yes, hockey 2019 setup was completed successfully. Okay. Well, that's two. It's always sad when you unpin the last version from the toolbar. And now you gotta go into here can see all my logos and stuff. I only got to run this once from the program files. as soon as it pops up there. And so, how you doing, Tribe Fan? If you guys have any questions... Oh, the pictures popped up right away. Man, that loaded fast, didn't it? Yeah, let's put in the winning teams. That just popped open really fast. Oh, we got new little animations now for the players that don't have pictures. Um, howdy, app of chatter. So if you got questions, feel free. We're going to go through. We're going to put some logos and a rank on a team. Uh, and we're probably going to play at least a period here. These are the teams that came with the basic game. Uh, you get 60, 70s, basically five teams from each decade. Um... So I'll probably do 2013 Boston and 2018 Tampa Bay. Just to show you. These are winningest teams of each decade. And before I forget, I want to make sure I pin this. Okay, so on the surface it looks, except for the little images there it looks about the same 
Um, let me go through and open up. Let's organize. Team information. Ooh. Okay. So this looks to be about the same. We're going to do, what, Boston and Tampa Bay? Well, I'll let you guys pick the teams. Who do you actually want to see me play? While you wait, I know I want to do this. That hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. For the purposes of this, we'll go with that. You want to see the caps. Boston and Tampa. I got two votes for, or one vote for Boston and Tampa, and the other for the caps. Forgot cap. Yeah, the 09, 09 Washington. Oh, 15. So you want 13 Boston or, wow, 15 Washington. All right, so that looks to be the same. Road unis. Home unis. All right, so that's all the same. Uh, all right, we're going to do Boston and Tampa. Not changed. Interesting colors. Okay. 13, right? I never get used to the collar jerseys being at home. And Tampa. Oops. I think I gotta update this uniform package. Oh, it does go to tw as far as twenty fourteen. We'll give it that rink. Okay, so the rinks are set. No changes in that. It looks like there's no new options as far as um, as new things to add for graphics. Always make sure you hit OK. That will lock things into place. I go into Tools. That's how you get the pictures. Not sure how many modern players I'm going to have, but we have the pictures nonetheless. So let's take a look at how the player card is. 85 Wayne Gretzky, such a nice thing, isn't it? Uh, the stats appear to be the same. Not seeing any new ratings. Game logs, of course, you wouldn't have it. This is the one I think that is new, usage, or at least some of it. And you can see where the computer has him set for his lines and depth chart. You know, the number one left wing, too, really? He Gretzky would play on the number one line, number one power play, number four-man power play, and number one on a four-man even. In that particular year, he had 52 goals and 163 assists. All right, so what do we want to go through here? 
rules. Let's do that. Okay. You can set for three period, you know, periods. One, two, or three. Time. Well, you can set up to a half hour period. Regular season overtime. And have that blessed shootout. So you can set how many skaters you want. If you want the shootout, if you want five on five, four on four, three on three. Oh, here's a new one. Right down here, you can set the computer auto lines for always and on face-offs. That's new for this year. You can set the standard for how you want scoring. The standard two points for a win, one point for a tie, and nothing for a loss. And you can set the stupid one point for an overtime loss. Or you can do the 3 2 1. Uh, players dressed. Set it to your heart's content. We'll just leave it 18 and 2. You can have no limit of goalies, 1, 2, or 3. You can use transaction dates if available. So if a player's traded, you would check that. Injuries you're going to want checked. You can limit injury to length to current game. So if you don't want people on a have two game injuries or, or whatever. You can check it for no goalie injuries. And roster limits for exhibition games. Okay. So I'm not sure how much of that's new. I've never done a hockey live unboxing before. But that's pretty cool. I think the auto lines is new. Penalties. All right. You can set a minor for... Up to five minutes or down to one, depending on how brutal you want to be. Right now, the default is checked on ends on goal, which you'd have for most modern season. Double minors and sub on coincidental minors. Major penalties, five minutes. You can set it to up to ten if you want. Does not end on a goal, sub on coincidental majors. And three fight majors results in the game misconduct. That's automatically checked. Game miscon misconduct, game only. I thought there was a 10-minute misconduct. Possible game misconduct and fight instigator. Suspensions are checked. Uh, max game length of 5, max sportsmanship of 3. Okay, I think that would depend on the rating. You can have matching penalties. And so... He like with the penalties in football, you can set the fight frequency. Three is realistic. Zero is none. So if you like do a hockey, a college hockey or juniors, you can set it for none. And ten is brutal. So if you like car wrecks, then ten is your setting. We'll leave it at realistic. Miscellaneous. Okay. Uh, delayed tag up on the offside. Touch up icing. You can have the settings for delayed and immediate. And icing, no touch, icing allowed, and hybrid. Uh, we'll leave the video review on for this. Uh, you can check allow line changes on icing, which is kind of gaming but fun. No goalie passing, which would not work for Mike Leuk and the Hartford Whalers. Goalies can't freeze the puck. If you were playing like a 20s, 30s, or 40s season, they weren't allowed to freeze the puck. Two-line pass, not allowed. That's a good old rule from the 80s. No fighting. Again, you can do that. If you want to do an Olympic-style shootout, you can reuse shootout shooters after three rounds. Don't say that too fast. Timeouts allowed. TV timeouts are automatically checked. No computer play calls for human coach teams. Yes. If you were doing like a playoff thing, you could set no consecutive game play, games played penalty for goalies. Essentially, that gets rid of goalie fatigue. So if you wanted, let's say you were doing an Islanders replay and you want, from the 70s or 80s and you had Chico Resch and Billy Smith who's made, who split the season, you want to go Billy Smith all the way through, you can. Allow offensive zone play calls, that's checked. Alternate reality in every game, that's not checked. All games on neutral ice. A game score ticker. I include league records and all-time record book and save game films. Usage. I don't have any of these checked, but if you want, you can skater games played 
penalty penalty level. You can check it for if you're like in a draft league, 105 to 125. Same with goalies. Display same as it always is, and you can actually now actually now have a league logo in it. Quick play. I haven't played with this before. Um. Yeah, we haven't seen the uh, how it plays yet. Again, a lot of things with the uh, action PC is the changes are subtle. All right, let's get to an exhibition game, shall we? The 13 Bruins and the 18 Tampa Bay Lightning. So the stars for the Bruins, David Krejci, 69 points in 80 games. Patrice Bergeron, Jerome Anglina, Milan Lucic, Brad Marchand, Zdeno Chara, Tori Krug, and Dougie Hamilton. Tuka Rask will be the goalie for Tampa. Nikita, Krush Nikita Kusherov, 128 points in 82 games, yet they lost in the first round. Steven Stamkos, Braden Point, Yanni Gord, Tyler Johnson, Victor Hedman, Ryan McDonough, and Miguel Sergachev, and Andre Belashevsky will be the goalie. How the hell did this team lose in four games? Come on. All right, we're going to go to the horizontal rink. On... Let's see if there's any changes here. Goalie photos. This doesn't look like it's changed any from years past. Let's set the Bruins to the computer. I don't do team color play-by-play. -play. It's too confusing for me. Graphics and sound. Okay, we'll leave these as is. Display shot video. It's checked. Human coached and, and computer coach click to shoot. Same as before. We'll let the speeds go there. Sound, all sounds. We don't do narrator. It's the same as always. Uh, horizontal ice board chalk options. Penalized players leaving the ice is checked. Fight displays are checked. Face-off displays are checked. Gold celebration displays are checked. And turnover icon is indeed checked. Active seasons. Here's what I have. Can't obviously change those during the game. And you can actually install from that folder which is interesting to me. Okay. Um, oh, this is new. You can actually go through and do these on an individual basis. If you wanted to. I think that's new. I got to get rid of some. And here's the new thing. Use daily dressed if available. So if you know, uh, if you if you have access to like the hockey news or find the stuff where it's buried on NHL.com, you can actually dress players on a daily basis. You actually now can, with a lot of help, uh, a lot of sweat on your part, do... Um, as played. That's what I wanted to do. All right, so we're going to go with 18 for Tampa. And you can see the new things here. This is new. Estimated time on the ice. And so you can see where your play, how much, how many minutes your players should be playing on a given night. You have the time on ice, the TOI here, if you want to be specific. But that estimated time on ice is new. Okay. And so we'll go through the starters for you for the 13 Boston Bruins. Starting at left wing will be Milan Lucic. He had 24 goals and 35 assists in 91 penalty minutes in the regular season that year. 
Chris Kelly gets the start at center. Why? Because it's the computer. Nine goals and nine assists. Riley Smith is your right wing, 20 goals and 31 assists. Sedano Chara is your left defense, 17 goals and 23 assists. Johnny Boychuk at five goals, 18 assists. The defenseman's defenseman. And in net for the Bruins, Tuka Rask. For your Tampa Bay Lightning, Nikita Krusharov is at left wing, 41 goals, 80 Seven assists. Braden Point, 41 goals, 51 assists. Tyler Johnson, 29 goals, 18 assists. Victor Hedman, 12 goals, 42 assists. Ryan McDonough, not related to Sean, 9 goals, 37 assists. Andre Velashevsky with a goal is against average of 2.40 between the pipes. And again, if you guys have any questions, now is the time. So we'll just go through this screen real quick. Quick, You can see the lineups and the ratings. Who's in the penalty box. Coaching options for Tampa Bay. And I don't believe these don't look any different. But you now can shadow. So let's say I wanted to shadow Lucic. I can now choose a player to do that with. Um, let's say... McDonough or Hedman. Okay? So I can now shadow Lutmich with Head Lutich with Head Hedman. The analysis. I never understood what that is. If you're familiar with it, then you know what it is. It's the screen I usually leave it on. The in-game statistics so you can see who's on the ice and how long they've been playing. Nothing new there. Real life stats. That came in, I think, last year. If you were doing a replay, this would be where the replay stats would be. Turn off the camera for a bit. Okay. I can do that. Um, there. Uh, and the infamous Dave Gardner ticker, if we were to do that. So you can see auto lines. If you want the computer to change the lines, that's there. And auto lines on the face-off. I guess what that means is that I could control about who I want on the ice on any given face-off and have them change on the fly. We're going to leave them both checked. Okay, and its ratings is on the set, and you can tell... The ratings there. So it's going to be point against Kelly. No changes on that play on how I want the offense to go. Balanced, which would be in strat, would be two four. You know, offense two. Aggressive would be the equivalent of offense three, and safe is offense one. And so the face off is underway, and it is won by Kucherov. Won by Tampa. Point with a slapper. First shot on net. Misses wide. Bounces to the corner. The Bruins have it. They clear. And they lose it to Tampa. That didn't really tell us an awful lot, did it? But it did take 30 seconds off the clock. Uh, can I change these in names? Um... Game display. I don't want ratings. It's not going to... Here, let's go with names. All right, McDonough has the puck. And for whatever reason, I can't con call the play. That's tiny. Kucherov to Johnson. Passing around, you see the hit. Lucic with a big hit. Boston has it at center. They dump it in the zone, and they give it up. And Tampa will... Why aren't they changing? Oh, they are changing. Palat, Stamkos, and Gord coming in for Tampa. Again, we'll go with the neutral offense. Gord hit by Bartowski. How does Steve Bartowski get in here? Boston will dump it in. Marshawn skates it up the left wing to Erickson behind the goal. 
And there is a bit of an icing. Ceramic runs him over. And Tampa will skate it out from their zone. Hard pass to Sorelli. Sorelli over the line to Coburn. Cernak. Lister. Rask with the save. And we'll get ourselves a faceoff. So it'll be Stamkos against Spooner. Soderberg and not Joe Thornton. Don't you still miss him? All right. Yeah, I just put the generic one there. For the last uh, sim I did, I believe I just used the generic. Um, any questions so far? Does not look like, at least from the beginning of this, that there are a lot of changes, which kind of makes you wonder why it took a week extra to get it out the door. And so I'm going to take a drink while you guys think about things you might want to see. So we're going to – the face-off options in the in the offensive zone remain the same as last year. Normal, draw back, which is a bit aggressive, and draw forward if you really want to get aggressive. Or clear, which I don't think you'd ever do. Stamkos and Spooner fight for it. Spooner won the face-off, and Boston will send it up to Soderberg. Dumps it in to Hamilton. In control, loses the puck. It's a giveaway. Hamilton coughs it up. Stamkos is going to be aggressive with it to Palat in the zone. To Stamkos. Long shot. That miss is wide. Off target right. Here come the Bruins. Spooner in the zone to Thornton. They pass it around to Dougie Hamilton. He'll bounce, but bounce over a stick, and Tampa will take it back the other way. Stamkos to Girardi. One timer, and again, that misses left. Boston has the puck. Miller. Both teams change. Colbert hits Campbell. Tampa has it at center. And these are the same options. You can dump and chase. You can skate or pass, or you can clear. Modern hockey. Dumper chase gives it away. The Bruins have it at center. Boy, Chuck. Over to Marchand. Erickson. Bad angle shot, Fashevsky with the save. 